And now at 5.30. He was in a very good state of his life and just to be taken away right when the beginning happened. A terrible twist of fate for this New Hampshire father, a recovering alcoholic on his way to an AA meeting, hit and killed by an accused drunk driver. And as Beth Germano shows us, the victim's family says once he got sober, he dedicated his life to helping others. By alcohol got to him in the end, and not by his doing. It's the irony of how 61-year-old Reed Hindle was killed. Struck down by an accused drunk driver while he was riding his cherished Harley to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in Summersworth, New Hampshire. His sister Meredith Patrick was helping him on the road to sobriety. I just see all these things, important things to him, all kind of falling into line and then gone. It's awful. His family says Hindle had been battling demons and addiction his whole life. That all changed in the last few years before his chance encounter with 57-year-old Scott Berry behind the wheel of a pickup truck. He had even reconnected with his daughter Nicole, who says her father was making amends. My father worked so hard to be a better person, to be not that person. And then, you know, he loved his motorcycles and he was living his life being at peace. According to police, the driver said he drank three beers and smoked some marijuana just before the accident. Family and friends now believe he's someone Reed Hindle might have been able to help. And he needs help, just like my brother did, because my brother very easily could have done the same thing. Rick Gerbrands knows well the helping hand of Reed Hindle, whom he credits with encouraging him to stay in recovery. One of the first nights I met him, it was very early um, in my recovery, he put his hand out and just said, welcome, you know, and made me feel welcome. Hindle's family now hopes his death sends a strong message about the dangers of drinking and driving and his decision to take a different road. In Summersworth, New Hampshire, Beth Germano, WBZ News. That driver, Scott Berry, is now being held on a $10,000 bail.